Grafton Street and its environs, a poser's paradise. No matter what the latest style in the shops is, there are always some kids who come up with their own look, and Grafton Street is their catwalk. At the moment, there are lots of different groups around. They call themselves names like Goths, Cureheads, Psychobillies, and they dress a certain way depending on the kind of music they like. We decided to check out some of these styles. They obviously stand out from the crowd in distinct little groups. Some aren't too fond of labels. Are you a goth? No. <laughs> Are you no. a pure head? Do you consider yourself a goth? Um, no, I suppose other people would, but I don't. Like We just go for the more kind of vampire sides of things. <laughs> You're a goth as well, is that no, it? I'm not. <laughs> what are you? Um, nothing. Are you a goth? No. Are you a pure head? No. I couldn't afford uh, to buy new tights every time I went out because they get ripped very easily. So I decided just to leave them and you just to rip and rip and rip. Yeah, and so that way they last much longer. <laughs> and what about all these um, rosary beads? And why do you wear them? Well, the rosary beads are really classic goth jewelry. And this is sort of let me see one ball. <laughs> Well, could you describe your look for me? Tell me, do you always dress like this? Um, yeah, it's just me on a normal day. <laughs> <laughs> well, where did you get everything? Tell me about the clothes. Um, this is my great aunt's cloak. I got this when I was in London. Um, Christmas present and my mum's t-shirt. <laughs> Tell me why you're wearing a rosary bead. A lot of you are and none of you have given me a satisfactory answer. Well, basically because it matches my brooch and I started wearing these ones and it annoys adults. <laughs> <laughs> and you like to annoy adults? Oh yeah, they annoy us. <laughs> you want to look weirder than everybody else. Is that yeah, what you said? I suppose, yeah. You want to you want to just look different. You want you know, your own look, really. Well when I was younger, like about maybe two or three years ago, I would have been a cure head, you know, but like if you get more into it, like you want to be out of that because the cure heads now would be considered a bit of a joke, you know, they're just teeny boppy and they're only following one band, whereas like we listen to all that kind of music and all different things. Uh, what do you call yourselves? Gothic. What does that mean? Um, it's just the type of music we like and the way we dress and the makeup, like it's the whole effect. Just, we're called goths. Music, not makeup, is the key to this assortment of dancers, rappers, and of course, psychobillies with their extraordinary quips. But what is a psychobilly? I'll tell you what a psychobilly is, Barry. He's the only person in Dublin who has any cop on what <laughs> decent music is and decent clothes. There you have it. And hair, exactly. And hair, yeah. It's generally just jeans and so on, or, you know. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you can either look really like sloppy and so on. There's different types of psychobilly. There's sort of like a punk, punk, style, punk yeah. style, which is mad sort of. Or you can very do a rockabilly, and <laughs> rockabilly and it's real neat sort of clothes and it's well groomed. You can either look either way like that. You can just be really up to your own imagination. Uh, what do you call yourselves? Your heads. Yeah. Cure heads. Yeah. What are they? Um, um, just top. It's like the music, all the music you're into, like the cure and stuff like that. Um, and just the way you dress. Your hair. Right, and you listen only to one group? No. no. Um, the Cure, the Smiths, B52. B52. And where did the look come from? Um, well, it's Robert, it's Robert Smith, <laughs> the lead singer. Um, he sort of dresses like he dresses like this, and he wears red lipstick and black eyeliner. 